So why bother with the expat life? Um, this is this is today and pretty much what's available every day once you can find your source of income. Because one of the things, you know, the kids are just coming up off the beach. Um, because one of the things that people forget is the cost of living. Uh, when you sit there and go through your bills, look how much you're actually paying out to what you earn. So that'll give you an idea of how much your life is really costing you. Because uh, I know in the UK, the fact is you can live on a lot less if you paid a lot less. So, coming to Spain, I know I've had a few critics go, oh, well, there's no work there. There's no work there. There's not, there's not, if you're able to generate your own revenue, you can make money anywhere. The, the key to it is actually understanding that you're not tied to a country, you're not tied to um, a way of life. You're tied to making a change. You're tied to wanting the life you want. Making those changes that actually make life worth living. When I get, come here, it's not it's not just my happiness. As you can see, my wife's happy, the kids are happy. I've got miles of beach. This is the longest bit of beach on the Costa uh, Costa Brava, I think it is Costa Brava, Costa Blanca. It's an amazing place to live. So. That's why I choose expat life. I also won't be bullied by corporates or companies that think they have a right over people. It's becoming slavery, and if anything, I'm all for boycotting bad companies. Um, I will never work for the company I've just left. Um, I can't really go into why, because they don't like me talking about them. But I will say that I have a lot more morals and ethics as such I won't be working with them but there's other opportunities out there that's the key to all this everybody pushes the fact that oh what if you lose your job what if this that what if is irrelevant what if you got hit by a bus that's a what if what about how do I how to how can I make this happen those are the real things, those are the things that matter, not the what ifs. The what ifs will always be there, the main thing is not listening to them. You can calculate risks, I've calculated I've got to get things running within six months. Um, are we anywhere near there? We've already had a few good ideas drop on us already um, and we'll be working on those. They ain't going to happen overnight, but that's why you have the backlog of money for the emergencies. Keep you afloat. And later on, I'll get to the point where I can say, right, I'm earning 1,400 euros a month. That's more than enough that we need to live on. But I can bank for going back to the Philippines for a bit. I can expand it out, or I can look to do something completely different. Whatever it is, it's not tying myself down to one thing. Alright, thanks for watching.